Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use the min ifs and max ifs functions. Now these are kind of functions that are conditional functions. So it'll help you find a minimum or a maximum of a value, most likely a number, based on condition and, and or multiple conditions. So for example, let's say I have this simple table. I've got dates, month, the calendar year, and the call volume. And let's look for the minimum the minimum values for the call volume. So it could answer these type of questions. What is the lowest call volume in 2009? What is the lowest call volume for a January month? And here's the multiple conditions category here. What is the lowest call volume for the January months after 2009? We can do the same for the max if functions. So let's see how we can do this. So go to min ifs, you're gonna type equals min ifs. Oh, incidentally, this, these particular functions were available starting for Excel 2016. So if you have anything prior to 2016, these won't be available. So Excel 2016 is when these first happened to be available. So for the minimum is, is functions, there are the criteria of the minimum range. So our minimum range is going to be our call volume. So I'll just select this whole column because we're assuming maybe that we will start to add or append data at the bottom of this column. Maybe it's something that we have on a recurring monthly basis. So I'm going to use that. I'm not going to select just a specific range. I'll just select that whole column and comma. What's my criteria range? Well, my call volume in 2019. So I'll select this column, which has my years. And I'll just type 2000, excuse me, not 2019, 2009 close parentheses and that's my one condition. Click enter, you'll see it's 93. And if I look at my 2009, 93 is the one that is the lowest. I can do the same for the max if. Type equals max ifs. Press tab to complete that. My range is here. What is my criteria range? Also column C and 2009. And the max is 129. As you see here, the maximum is going to be 129 here out of all of these. So how do we do the second question? What is the lowest call volume for a January month? So text string is a little bit different. We'll delete that. We want our min range here, our criteria range now it's going to be January, this column B here. So with text string, you have to enclose your text string in quotes. So I have to enclose in quotes, Jan, and open quotes, close quotes, press close parentheses, press enter, we have 100, which if we look at January, that's 100 there, that's 112, and my other January is down here is 108. So the minimum is that 100. Same here with the max ifs. Let me delete that. My max, my max range, and then oops, let me move my little tip here. So you can see that my criteria range, the same thing, my month here and open quotes, Jan, close quotes, parentheses, press enter. It's 112. You'll see here if I look at my January's there, there, and there, might as well just highlight these since I'm doing January. Let's highlight them all. all right? You see my January, my max if is going to be 112. So let's go to my third question. What is the lowest call volume for January months after 2019? So now we're going to get into the realm of multiple criteria. So I have my first one here, right? We have my, my minimum for my call volume for January. So column B, January, that's criteria one. Let's do the criteria two. It has to be after 2019. So we're going to select column C here. And we want something after 2019, 20, 20, 2009. If we just want it 2009, we can just say uh, C and then 2009. But we want something after 2009. So that's going to be 2010, 2011. So we're going to have to add a greater than sign. So with the greater than sign, we have to enclose that in quotes. So we're going to say quotes, greater than, close quotes, and append it using the ampersand. Append it to 2009 close parentheses, and this should bring up the value, the minimum value, which is going to be 108. Press enter, and you see 108 is our value there. Do the same thing for this one. So we have our first criteria is January, our second criteria, column C, comma, and then the criteria is going to be quote, greater than ampersand 2009. 
2009, and in this instance, it should pick 112 because out of the years Janu out of January 2010 and January 2011, 112 is the maximum. Press enter, and we have our 112. So there's our examples of using the min ifs and max ifs functions. Kind of a neat feature if you wanted to get the minimum or the highest or the lowest values within a table range. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.